This is chapter six, problem number forty. The lucky number for this problem is zero. A roller coaster car shown in the figure is pulled up to point one where it is released from rest. Assuming there's no friction and calculate the speed at each point and two, three, and four. So the roller coaster car is pulled over here. It's not moving, so kinetic energy is zero. When you release it, you go faster and go faster and faster. All right. Intuitively, we know that at point two, it will go the fastest one as compared with two, three, and four. And at point four, it should be going faster than at point three. Okay, so at point three, it will be very slow. All right, so let's use the concept of conservation of energy. That means at each moment, the energy will be the same. If it has more kinetic energy, then it has a lower potential energy. But the sum of the energy at each point is, is the same. So I'm going to call this my zero point over here. Okay, at point one, at point one, I have kinetic energy, kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay, at point two, I have kinetic energy and plus potential energy. So let's calculate for point two now. Kinetic energy at point one is zero because it's not moving. Kinetic energy, potential energy at point one is equal to mgh. Okay, so kinetic energy at two over here is half mv squared at point two over here. And potential energy because it's over here is zero, so plus mgh, that is zero. That means mgh is equal to half mv squared. So we convert all the potential energy to kinetic energy. I cancel m on both sides. v squared is equal to 2 times g times h. And v is equal to square root of 2 times g times h, which is equal to, okay, so 2 times 9.8 times h is 32, 32, okay, and I take a square root of it, it's 25.0, okay, so v at this point is 25.0 meters per second, all right, so equal to 25.0 meters per second, all right, so that's how we solve for at point two, so what happened at point three then, okay, so I'm going to erase this again, I'm going to use the same formula because we are only dealing with kinetic energy and potential energy. All right, so what happened at point three? So we are comparing point one and point three. Point one, kinetic energy is zero. Potential energy is mg times h. h is 32. Okay. Oh, at point three, kinetic energy is equal to half m v square potential energy is because it's 26 meters high so e plus m g times 26 okay because it has the m everywhere so i'm going to cancel the m for each term that means it's independent of the mass if you have a heavier roller coaster it doesn't matter it only matters of the height. When it's lower, then it will move faster. When it's higher, then it will move slower. It will be independent of the weight or of the mass. Okay. So now what I need to solve is v square. So v square will be equal to 9.8. G is equal to 9.8. So 9.8 times 32. Okay. Over here, then I can minus 9.8 times 26, okay, because I moved it to over, and then I multiply that by 2, and then I take a square root of it, I get 10.84, so 10.8, okay, so I get V equal to 10.8, so over here, the velocity is 10.8, how about at point 4 over here, okay, so we are going to do the same thing, we are going to plug in all the numbers, Okay, kinetic energy at point one is zero. Potential energy is 
m g h that is 32 okay that will be equal to kinetic energy over here half m v square plus potential energy the height is 14 so it is m g times 14. again look at each term it, it carries the m so i'm going to cancel m everywhere okay well it's independent of mass okay so 9.8 times 32 minus 9.8 times 14 okay and multiply by 2 and take a square root of it i get 18.78 okay so at this point is 18.78 18.8 okay let's see if it makes sense it's very fast over here fast over here but slow over here so very fast because it converts all the potential energy to kinetic energy. Okay, that means the higher it is, the slower it is. That's the way to double check. The lucky number for this problem is zero.